So, an epo, last of the only Matora I intend on covering. Uh, let's first, let's first get the size comparison out of the way. Here he is with a mask, because we live in plague times. And as you can see, a little big for him. This is more human sized mask than anything else, so in fairness, you know, this mask, it definitely fits me. His mask, were I to remove it, if I'm very careful, I can balance it on the tip of my nose on top of his other mask. Really, that's about it. I mean, oh, even without the mask, it just about fits. That would have been cooler if it had worked. Yeah, totally legit. Just uh, don't mind the... Let's just clean that off and good as new. So, who am he be? An epo was introduced by the original McDonald's sets. And, yeah. There really isn't a whole lot else to say about him. He, he just sort of exists, really. I mean, he was a supporting character in the Mountain Dew Online game. But then that was about it, really. He hasn't really done much since then. Yeah, personally, I think it'd be neat to see him just... As become a Toa eventually than Spherius Magna. Just because that way, like... Okay, so his colour scheme is an oddity, seeing as black and purple was later established to be a uh, Gravity Matoran, which are a Matoran prefix that I forgot to look up before filming, even though this is my second take of this guy, because retakes are a thing I do now, professional, anyway. But yeah, I mean, I... It's established that he's definitely an Omatoran. Personally, I think it'd just be funny as hell if we found out, like, ten years into the story that actually he was Gravity Matoran this whole time. And he just happened to be in Onu Metro when everything went down and he lost his memory and didn't know that he wasn't an earthy boy this whole time. He becomes a Torah and everyone's like, what, wait, what? No. That's not right. No, what? So, that's about all I was to say about him. Uh, accessories. I can't be right. Ah! That is because Taipu has been carrying his accessory this whole time. Since last since last week's video. And really before then, seeing this hard. This is just how I display them both at this point. Because, well, in the events of Matanui Online game, Anepu convinces Taipu that, hey, you're, you're as strong as Tumator, and therefore I don't need to do anything. And Taipu goes along with it, because he's just a good guy. So, Taipu gets two pickaxes, and Apu doesn't need one, he's busy hanging out with crabs. In hindsight, it's a shame he never really spent any time with Jala, his fellow certified crab lover. They'd probably get on well, and have a lot of talk about. Anyway, uh, carrying on the size comparison, well, size comparison, they're all the same size, I'm getting a lot of mileage out of this one build. Anyway, yeah, so we have some good earthy boys, which is really all there is to say about these guys, to be honest. I mean, yeah, an Epu, kind of a nobody, but he's a popular nobody, or at the very least a nobody that people tend to look at, tend to look to when they're considering new tower teams. So, thank you for watching, uh, that about covers the Onumatoran portion of this, with this bonus boy. The other tribe are eventually going to get bonus boys, but, uh, well, bonus girls in the case of Garmatoran. But long term, those can wait. I'm focusing on the other stuff right now. Mostly because I don't really have the uh, third build for a lot of the villages yet. That said, next up is Garmatoran, where I kind of have the third one. After that is Pomatoran, where I definitely do. And after that is Lame Matoran that I currently have none of. So, gonna have to get the plus of those eventually. Not looking forward to it, because uh, that land green route, very, very expensive, and nobody knows why. Anyway, thank you for watching.